hi and welcome to another video this one um, it's a short one called um, actually let's call it a sensor box it's literally essentially that's what this box is it is a, a box that contains uh, power supply some universal sensors and relays and LED lights as you can see and luckily the LED light just popped on that you saw for water and as you've guessed this tells me when each item is switched on or off so from the display rather than me getting my phone out checking the phone or going onto the desktop looking at the browser all we do is just look at here and we can say this the boiler has fired and at the moment it is supplying us with heat and at the same time it's supplying us uh, it's actually heating up my water tank as well that's in a nutshell that's what it's there for I've also got two other LEDs one's called thermal and one's called export thermal for me means it's solar thermal so I've got solar hot water panels so as soon as the sun's out it heats up the panels and therefore it helps heat up my water in the water tank so then that LED will light up to show that that's what's that happening with export instead we're going to be it's using the electric immersion to actually heat up the water in the tank and that's only when surplus energy is being produced by my solar electric panels so on a very nice and sunny day lots of electric has been produced I'm not using that much so rather than wasting it as because we can't store it it switches on the immersion on the tank to start heating the water up and that's where that LED comes in to show you you might ask why actually there's a big reason why because this is these three there 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 are all to do with heating up the water what I don't want is if the sun's out I don't want my boiler to fire to heat up the water so I've got schedule set for standard with heating but I've also got schedule set for water so the water schedules come on at predetermined times what I don't want the sun's out why do I want my boiler to fire I don't so that's where the thermal and the export come in as it can then send a signal and say stop don't turn the hot water don't turn the boiler on to heat my hot tank it's been heated with thermal and export so don't bother running that schedule so that way I'm saving money by not utilizing uh, the boiler so this so that rather than turning it off completely it's there as a backup as well so just in case it's a cloud it's, it's a cloudy day then I don't have to manually turn all the programs back on for the water this is fully automated the other thing I've got is I've got some sensors temperature sensors which are attached to the tank and one of the sensors I will show you is here it's focusing so one sensor is this one there then I've got another sensor just attached to the outer rim of the immersion heater so it's on the brass and there's one at the top of the tank which uh, measures the temperature of the pipes these tanks aren't designed well to have more sensors going inside them so the best thing I can do is attach them to the, the pipe work and if I show you my phone all temperature measurements come on from the phone so I'll let it give it a few seconds to focus so as you can see we've got one two three so we've got something called tank s3 tank top and tank immersion those are exactly where the sensors are located so it's just some reference points on the tank and it gives you the current temperature that it's actually measuring on those points so that then means quick we can at a glance see how hot the water is in the tank and then from there you can determine is there enough water to have a, a shower in basically so you don't going in and having a cold shower halfway through there's another reason why I'm monitoring the temperature and that is 
it's for the automatic water we have I've got a, another program set in here and what that does is it I use two points the top and the s3 so one at the top of the tank and one around um, probably about 60 percent of the uh, yeah probably about two-thirds of the way up the tank so the top third measuring the temperature of the roughly the top third of the tank and if it falls below if both temperatures fall below a certain level which is about 45 degrees and about 20 degrees what it does then it triggers the boiler to start heating the water as well so that's like a backup system so if on a day where everyone is decides to have a shower one after the other then it means that the boiler will automatically fire up and start heating the water again straight away so we don't have to wait until the next scheduled time so it's like a self-contained system to make sure that we, a we never run out of hot water b we're heating the hot water efficiently whether it's by the sun or whether we're using the boiler to heat it up and three it's just a visual visually we can see what's going on as well so that's just an example of how to use sensors in real life situations and measuring temp uh, monitoring temperature hope you find that useful and um, bye for now